Lan is just a code name. Killer instinct. Why does Lam have trouble ganking, dealing damage, or surviving? To overcome these problems, we need to find out why they're happening first, before offering effective solutions. Weakness 1. Unable to gank. Lam has trouble ganking when his jungling pace is wrong, or when he doesn't know how to gank or when to enter combat, all of which make him very passive. Weakness 2. Not enough damage. It's possible that Lam isn't attacking the right opponent, or not using the right combos to deal damage effectively. Weakness 3. Survivability. Lam dies quickly because he doesn't know how capable he is and how powerful the enemies are. Countering relationships between heroes must be studied. I've tasted blood. Now let's find out how to master Lam. Lam's damage mainly comes from the enhanced basic attack after using skill 2. The enhanced basic attack then resets the cooldown of skill 2, giving him the ability to continuously deal damage. Lam can achieve an endless number of these enhanced basic attacks by using the 4 strikes from skill 2 to bypass skill 2's cooldown. When facing two enemies, use the enhanced basic attack immediately to dash while casting skill 2, triggering a second hit on a previously struck target. Players must have an idea on how they want to approach this. Usually, Lam will start with the Azure Golem. Standing between the Lizard and the Azure Golem will give him two jungles making him level up faster and gank better. Lam usually goes to the side lanes at level 4. If he starts with the Crimson Golem, it makes sense to go to the top lane. If he starts with the Azure Golem, then it's better to take the bottom lane. He can also surprise others by ganking in mid after dealing with either the Azure or the Crimson Golem, taking out the River Sprite while he's at it. Lam must focus on the enemy's carry when ganking by reducing their leveling area and working with teammates to take down towers. This builds a solid foundation for invading the enemy jungle later. He can also focus on enemies who are near the towers. Luring them in with help from teammates will have a higher chance of success. Here are some brush areas where he can hide and ambush enemies. Jungling equipment doesn't have an impact on earnings during the first 4 minutes. Even if he can't gank, he can help teammates clear lanes quickly to boost their early game support capabilities. There can be no exceptions. When ganking, use these combos based on the situation to increase his potential and make ganking more effective. There is no delay when using the ultimate while submerged, so approach and quickly kill the enemy with this combo. Start with a basic attack while hiding in the brush, then use skill 2 to enhance the next basic attack. Use skill 1 in the ultimate to chase down enemies or flee from battle. Start with skill 1 when dealing with nearby enemies, then approach the enemy with skill 2, and then enhance the next basic attack, and finish with the ultimate to pull the enemy back. This is good for assisting teammates for a kill during team fights or catching stragglers. This is great for catching enemies further away. Use the dashes from the enhanced basic attack from skill 2 and skill 1 to approach backline enemies using frontline enemies as a stepping stone. Then get behind the enemy and cast the ultimate to push enemies back. Good for killing enemies during mid to late game team fights. Use frontline enemies, towers, or minions as stepping stones. Lamb can kill enemies as far as 4 flashes away. It's critical to know what formations give Lam the maximum advantage. It's extremely easy to reset the cooldown of skill 2 when the enhanced basic attack hits 2 or more enemies. When combined with the crowd control effect from his ultimate, he is a great hero against formations with Link Marksmen like Cy Yun and Ming. His skill 2 also gets a lot of mileage when used against heroes with fewer dash skills but have summons like Agudo and Milady. Formations with lots of hard crowd control heroes such as Liang, Dong Huang, or Lu Shan will limit what Lam can do. Assassination becomes harder against nimble heroes like Arlie and Marco Polo. At an advantage. While in an advantage, he can submerge in the river to quickly offer support, ganking low health enemies to expand the lead. During mid to late game, he should avoid hard crowd control streaks as much as possible. Use skill 1 and ultimate to initiate and hit several targets, then kill them with high burst and chase to end the match quickly. At a disadvantage, 
when in a disadvantage and earning less, Lamb shouldn't try to take on multiple enemies at once. Instead, try to gank enemies during minion waves or take enemies out one by one during teamfights to create more room for the ally carry to deal more damage. 